Well, now back to those cities who just began their reopening of businesses. How are those business owners now adapting to the new normal after spending months being closed? CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live from Miami Beach with their reaction to being back in business. Brooke. Those retail shops that opened still have restrictions for people who want to come in and shop. This is an anthropology just off Lincoln Road here in Miami Beach. You can see they've got a sign on the front door reminding you you have to wear a face covering. And if you look right inside, there are even some taped arrows on the ground. One way in, one way out of the store, reminding customers to keep their distance. For this week, we kind of did a soft opening. Jennifer Knoll, the operations manager at Coconut Village, oversees four different small businesses within these four walls. Like many stores around the city of Miami, they're opening doors with limited capacity, directional arrows for foot traffic, and extra cleaning supplies. For them, being two days behind the rest of the county in reopening was no big deal. I don't think it made such a big difference because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of uh, foot traffic yet, so um, I don't think it, it made a big difference. It's still making a big difference for restaurants, though. Even though some are seeing people stop by for a meal and a drink to go, employees at places like Saffron's are still eager to open up, which won't happen until May 27th. We have to cut down the hours of the employees and try to give everybody a chance to work and make some money. The same way as, you know, the owner also gets affected with the overall, uh, you know, uh, income. In addition to Miami, Hialeah, Miami Gardens, and Miami Beach also joined the rest of the county in reopening. On the beach, Lincoln Road is still pretty empty, but barber shops and salons saw their fair share of customers. A little hectic, you know, doing, going through all this, you know, all these new things that you have to wear. It's a little bit hot underneath all this, but... We got to follow the rules. We've been in business for a long time, almost 35 years. In Miami Gardens, this store owner was eager to open up shop. He, like many, are adhering to the new normal of smaller crowds. Mayor Oliver Gilbert says a slow approach is the right approach. We're starting with this, and we want to ease back into this because we need to accommodate people to this new reality. This new reality is that until we find a way to, to vaccinate against this or cure this, um, we're going to have to be a lot more cautious. And with that said, expect to see more cleaning crews around the entire county, shorter store hours at some establishments, and of course, masked shoppers. For those restaurants that open next week, the mayors in those cities on a Zoom conference call yesterday said they're looking into some options to help restaurants expand their capacity, like potentially allowing seating on some sidewalks or even some streets. Live in Miami Beach, I'm Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 This Morning.